What up, this is 2E. Everyone has a 9-11 story. And this is mine. This is how being disabled saved my life. So in 2001, um, at the end of the summer, I was working for Holt International Adoption Camp. And I was assistant director. Usually at the end of camp, you know, with friends and whatnot, um, I'd have like friends from California come out and we'd like party for the week and whatnot, blah, 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 and then of course go back home. So we were slated to fly out of uh, uh, New, York, New York City, um, Newark to San Francisco on September 10th, right? And our flight was actually in the evening, like a late afternoon. And so in our mind, we were thinking, okay, um, we're gonna go early in the morning, go to the World Trade Center because a lot of my friends hadn't been there yet. And then uh, go there, check it out, and then get back in the car and then uh, go to the airport. But since we had some lady friends and they're a little slower getting ready, not saying anything about you guys, but you guys are slow, right? So we're actually too late to go to the World Trade Center, right? So we just decided, well, let's just get to the airport, get checked in, you know, just everything. We're not worried about the World Trade Center because in our mind, in our my mind, in our minds, it's gonna be there forever. It's like one of those things that, you know, you come to the city and no matter how many times you come, it's always gonna be there. So we always thought the World Trade Center was gonna be there. We'll be able to come back and see it. So we actually get to the airport and it's just crazy. It's like there's mass confusion. It's just like, look, it, it was crowded. I mean, everyone was hustling, bustling, and we're just like, whatever, dude. And it's crazy. And we're like, we should have no problem because, you know, I'm disabled, I'm in a wheelchair, and I can pretty much go into the first class line and do early check in. That way, um, you know, getting to the gate is plenty of time and all this stuff. We didn't know. Uh, we learned later that there was a fire, I guess, up in the tower, and so like flights were being delayed and people were being transferred and all this other stuff. And so when we came up to the counter, when we were actually early, we were like uh, ready for check-in, and they were like, okay, it looks like your flight is going to be canceled because of the chaos, and we want to give you a voucher, a hotel voucher, and then we'll have you fly on the first flight from New York to SFO, like we were supposed to do on flight N95. And so we'll give you a voucher, you go to the hotel, and then when you come back, because you'll be next to the hotel, you'll be the first ones on board, and it'll be all hunky-dory, right? I'm, I'm with like four other people, and I'm like, you know, for me, traveling, I don't ever take those little, uh, uh, like, if you don't fly, we'll give you a free voucher at plus $500 or things like that. I just don't do that because when I travel, I like to get there. I just want to get it done with because, you know, all the logistics of being disabled. And like, in my mind, you know, I think it was a hotel and I can't even get in the bathroom and use the bathroom and it's going to be paying the ass, you know. If we're going to do that, I might as well just go back to New York City and visit my dad, which I don't really want to do. I just want to get home, you know. My mindset then was just like, let's just get the fuck home, man. Right? So I start using my disabled card. I go, oh, I don't know if I can do that. You know, I mean, we're here early enough. You know, I mean, I have back issues. I was like pulling out, you know, I was like, bam, disabled card, here we go. My back and my neck and my like twitchy arm, my twitchy face, and you know, like, oh man, you know, and then I don't know. You just, I just went all off, right? And then the, 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 the uh, ticket days, okay, 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 let me check, let me check. I'm like, oh yeah, and then I have this thing, and then I have the other thing, and yeah, well, and then I need this, and then she's like, okay, yeah, 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 let me check. So she's just bumming, but and I'm, we're just sitting there, just like looking around, because it's fucking crazy, it's crazy, it's just crazy. Everybody looks like they're panicked, everybody's running around trying to figure out what they need to do and all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. So we stand there for 10 minutes, and all of a sudden the, the ticket agent's, okay, dude, uh, this is the deal. There's a flight leaving in like 10 minutes, okay? They have four seats, five seats, just enough for you guys to get on, but you gotta hurry, right? You gotta rush there. And of course, you gotta go security, all that, they called ahead, and we're just like, 
Run, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, right? We get to the gate, and of course, I'm the slowest. I'm the fastest yet the slowest, but in this case, I ended up coming there last. Right, because they had to get the wheelchair and stuff and everything in the car. So everyone gets on, and I'm the literally the last person on that plane. You know, they take the wheelchair, the aisle wheelchair off, and we're sitting in the plane, and they close the the plane. And so we leave the 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 gateway, and we're just like, oh my god, that was just a fucking clusterfuck, right? That was just crazy among the crazies. I've never ever seen that in an American airport. And so all of a sudden, we're now stopped and waiting on the tarmac. And we're just like, oh shit, watch. They're gonna like call us back to the gate and then we're gonna have to do that whole fucking voucher thing, right? God damn it, right? And it literally, the plane literally sat on the tarmac for two and a half hours. We we're just sitting on the plane, you know, no drink service, no nothing. It was just two and a half hours. Okay, well, Richard, okay, blah, blah, blah. My, we're just everyone's like, God oh, damn it, oh damn it. So the plane finally leaves. And when the plane takes off, everyone's like, yay! Because they knew that now that they're done with that mess. So because of all the delay and all that stuff, I ended up getting into uh, SFO like at one o'clock in the morning, right? And then, you know, get our baggage and all that stuff, blah, 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 get home. You know, it's three o'clock in the morning. And I'm tired as shit, you know what I'm saying? I, we just flew across country, six and a half hour flight, blah, blah, blah. So I go to bed, right? Now it's the morning of 9-11. Early, early in the morning, like whatever, six or seven, whatever the time it was, I don't remember. My mom starts, and this was way back when, before uh, cell phones. So we, everyone had a hard line, you know what I'm saying? So my phone is just ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing. Then we stop, and it start ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing. And so I finally get up. I'm just tired of shit, right? And I have one of these big ass. Uh, it was a 90 inch projection TV okay, at my house, right? So I answer the phone, and I'm just all groggy. And my mom's like, "Tui, Tui." I'm like, "Yeah, that's me." <laughs> you say, "What number were you expecting?" You know what I'm saying? I'm like, turn on the fucking TV, turn on the fucking TV. So I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Damn it, turn on the TV. And I turn on the TV, right? And bam, one of the, uh, the first trade tower has been hit already. It's on fire. And I'm like, what am I looking at at this? Because prior to that, Spider-Man was supposed to come out. But right? Spider-Man the movie. And they straight ahead had a poster of Spider-Man web slinging in between the Twin Towers. Right, so I'm like, what is that? What is that? Right, is this a joke? Is this a movie? And mom's all, no, dude, the, we've been attacked, right? They should have hit the first tower, right? And now, now I'm awake. And my mom was like, oh my God, I'm so glad you're here and you're safe. Right, I was like, what are you talking about? We were coming in last night. He said, oh, dude, you don't understand. I knew it did a fire. Yesterday, we're just like fucking crazy, a lot of people to get on. I, was like, ah, I just thought it was just like end of the summer fucking craziness, you know what I'm saying? Everyone trying to get back home to go to school, get to work, blah, blah, blah. Right, so I'm continuing to watch it. I'm sitting there in disbelief, right? And of course, I call all my friends, fucking wake up, Mike, wake up, John, wake up. Check it out, dude, the World Trade Center. Because again, we were just, we went just by it the day before, and we had full intentions of going up in the train building, right? But because of the women were late, we didn't go, so. But I, you know, I've already been there a couple of times, you know, when I was younger, so. It's, so I, I've already seen it, I've done that, did that, all that. So then, of course, we're watching then the second plane, and I'm watching the second plane hit the World Trade Tower, and it's just like fucking, oh my God, this is just the most craziest thing to watch live happen. See that plane just twist in. And then you hear about the story about um, the plane hitting the Pentagon. We've been attacked again, right? And that was just fucking crazy. And then you, then we start getting the live reports about the plane um, over Newark, uh, no, over Pennsylvania that had the uh, passenger um, a revolt, right? Try to do something about it, and then the plane crashes, right? And it doesn't, 
make full sense at that moment. But I'm watching it, right? And they call out the, the flight number. And they're like, it's the first flight from Newark to San Francisco, and uh, 95, the crash. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, holy fucking shit, dude. That's the plane that they had transferred us on if we had taken that voucher. We would have been on that plane and we would be crashed and I would not be here to tell you the story now. You know, I'm just like, oh my God, that's how close it was. I mean, I had no idea, you know what I'm saying? And we just, the realization of that is like cold and chilling. But the fact of the matter is, you know, again, I used my disabled card with impunity that day because not because I knew that I was going to be in that plane crash, but I knew that I just had to get home. You know what I'm saying? It was just one of those instincts that, you know, you just got to get home and deal with it. And bam, I mean, good thing. I mean, this is how dis my disability saved my life. It allowed me to pull that car, get on the plane with the very last spot to make it home. And, uh, and here I am. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, follow, and subscribe. If you notice, I said enjoy because I don't want to be like, 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 like.